What's up, everybody? We are about two weeks out from the release of War for Wakanda and Black Panther and Marvel's Avengers. And since the release, there's been one question that I think has been on a lot of players' minds. And that question is, what's next? Honestly, I'm excited that a lot of people are asking that question because what that means is, is that they like the game, they want more of the game, and they're ready for what is coming. Uh, I know I like the game, I know I have really enjoyed it since it launched, and even though I think I have a lot to do in the game, I know that I'm ready for what's next too. Today, Crystal Dynamics is launching the Fall and Winter 2021 roadmap to tell us what is next for the game. Now before I get into the roadmap and everything that it covers, I do want to do the usual disclaimer and say check the description for links to my Twitch and my Twitter so you can come follow me there, and also be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. All of these things are completely free and they really, really help, so thank you for doing them. Now, the roadmap. What do you see first that catches your eye? Spider-Man might be the obvious choice here because, I mean, even the box that he's in is in a different color, so it's like it's highlighted. But that's not the thing that I'm most interested in. Let's take a look at the box above Spider-Man. Confront Claw in our first raid. Our first raid. Not an Omega level threat, a raid. I'm honestly going to have to start talking about things differently if there's a distinction between an OLT and a raid. And from looking at the roadmap, I think there is. From what I've been told, the Claw content is going to be different than an OLT, so they had to give it a different name. Unlike Family Reunion, which is campaign content remixed for an endgame challenge, the Claw Raid is going to have a unique level with a unique boss and unique enemies we haven't seen before. It is entirely its own thing, rather than something taken from the campaign and made more challenging. They've said that they want it to be the biggest challenge in the game so far. Not only that, but they've also said that the Claw Raid should resolve story beats that were left unfinished in the War for Wakanda DLC. All of that, to me, is very exciting and I look forward to getting a chance to play it. The details are honestly still pretty hush-hush, but the team made sure to emphasize that for this raid, DPS won't be the only thing that matters. They said that more utilitarian perks are going to be important, even if they didn't tell us how that's going to be true. So what does that mean? Well, I don't know exactly. What are utilitarian perks? What are the benefit of having them? They didn't tell us that, but it does give us an idea of what Crystal Dynamics sees for the future of Marvel's Avengers. Content that doesn't just prioritize DPS above all else, but focuses on what you can do with the hero and their gear and their abilities. That kind of thing has me excited because since I've started playing this game, I have been a support Kamala main. So having more utility for those support abilities is exciting to me. By the way, did I mention that there are going to be not one, but two versions of the raid, a normal version and an elite? That ties into the new power level cap, which is also coming sometime this fall or winter. From what it looks like right now, the power level cap is going to go from 150 to 175, and if you want to be able to complete the raid, you're going to need to level up for it first. And yes, before you ask, you should be able to take a lot of your favorite gear with you, but you won't just be able to upgrade it right away. I'm told you're going to have to work for it, even if they didn't tell me exactly how. I do know that part of getting to the new power level cap, that 175, will involve completing the elite version of the claw raid. Whether or not that's going to be the only way to get to the new power level cap, I don't know yet. But I do know that one of the ways, at least, is by completing that elite version. And they said the difficulty for that elite version isn't just about power level delta. Now, if a raid and a raised power level cap aren't enough for you, there's also the whole fact that PlayStation players are going to get Spider-Man. Really, all we know about Spider-Man is what we see on the roadmap. That he's on PlayStation only, which we already knew, and that it'll arrive sometime this fall or winter. We'll have to keep an eye out for more details as they're released. On top of all that, the resource system is going to be reworked to be more streamlined. Under the new system, all resources should only have one purpose, 
and some resources are even going to be shelved, maybe to be brought back later. Don't worry players who have a lot of resources. If one of the resources that you have a lot of is shelved, we're told that that resource will be converted to another resource that's staying in the game, like fragments. Last, but definitely not least, is the fact that there is going to be not one, but multiple improvements to earnable cosmetics. We're told that patterns will make a return, along with a clear reward path for players who want to earn them. But that's all we know so far about earnable cosmetics. The fact that they put it on the roadmap, though, should mean that they know that it's important to you as a player to be able to earn cosmetics. Whew! That was a lot, and I know it doesn't answer all of your questions. It honestly doesn't answer all of mine. A lot of what's to come is still being kept quiet, but I think there's a lot to be excited about here. New challenging endgame content, new prioritization on more than just pure DPS, a new power level cap with a reworked resource system, and if you're on PlayStation, a whole new hero. And that's just what they're telling us about. If you take a look at the fine print of the roadmap, it says that not everything in progress is even featured on the roadmap. What does that mean? Does that mean anything we should be excited about? I don't know. What I do know is that what we have in front of us is a lot to be excited about. I hope this breakdown helped. Obviously, we're going to keep talking about this kind of stuff as we learn more. But I hope that what you've seen is enough to get you excited for the future of Marvel's Avengers. Because I know I am. Thanks for watching.